Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this video, what we'd like to do is another video in our series dealing with logarithms. Uh, but what we'd like to do is we'd like to prove, we'd like to present a proof uh, that the log of a quotient uh, to a particular base is just equal to the difference between the, the log of the numerator and the log of the denominator. Okay, So we'd like to prove, we'd like to prove that the log of x over y to the base a okay, is the same as the log of x to the base a minus the log the log of y to the base a. We'd like to we'd like to prove this. And let's just recall recall okay, what logarithms actually mean. Okay. And recall that if x is equal to a to the y, okay, Recall that if x is equal to a to the y, okay, what we're really saying here is that x is equal to some number raised to a specific power. Okay? And all a logarithm is, is it's, it's, it's an exponent. It's the exponent that we need to raise a base to, the power of, okay, to achieve some other number. Okay? So actually, x, if x is equal to a to the y, well then that, what that means is that the log, the log of x okay, to the base a is equal to is equal to y. Okay? So what the question here is, hmm, what exponent, what what exponent should I raise a to to get x? And what we're saying is equal to y. Okay? So that's what this represents. Okay? What what exponent exponent okay, should we raise the base a to in order in order to get to get x. Okay? That's what a logarithm is. Okay? And so we're going to use this particular identity, and this fact that the log of x to the base a is really asking this question here, is, is what is this here? Okay? So let's have a look at our proof. So let's do our proof. So our proof. Um, let's consider, let's consider okay, the right hand side the right hand side of this particular equality here. Okay? And let let m equal log of x to the base a. So let this particular bit be m. And let log of y to the base a and let log of y to the base a equal n. So let n equal log of y to the base a. Okay? And what we're going to do now is what we're going to do is we're going to consider okay uh, these in exponent forms okay so in in exponent form exponent form okay we have that uh, if if m is equal to log of x to the base a well then we must have that a to the power of m is equal to x okay and if if n is equal to log of y to the base a well then what that means is that a to the n is equal to y. Okay. This is a consequence of these two particular statements, okay, because that's what we defined a log to be. Okay? So now let's do the division. So let's 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 uh, I suppose let's let's evaluate evaluate uh, let's evaluate the quotient the quotient or the fraction the fraction. Okay. So let's evaluate a to the m over a to the n. Okay. Well, a to the m over a to the n, okay, is equal to x over y. Okay, because a to the m is x and a to the n is y. But in exponent form, okay, so therefore we must have, okay, uh, or sorry, this this implies, doesn't it? Yeah, that in exponent form, that a to the m times a to the minus n must be equal to x over y. What does this tell us? Well, then this tells us. Uh, that a to the m minus n must be equal to x over y. So what we have here now is this: is that we have we have uh, some number raised to a particular power is equal to some other number. Okay, which is exactly what we have over here. Okay, so we have some number a raised to the particular power is equal to some other number. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, then this tells us that the log of x y x over y. Okay, to the base a must be equal to m minus n. Okay, so what we have here is that the log, of the log, the log of x over y, okay, to the base a must be equal to m minus n. But m minus n is equal to log of x to the base a minus log 
of y to the base a, which completes which completes our proof. Uh, the log of x over y to base a is simply equal to the difference between the two the two logarithms. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that this video was in some way helpful, uh, and more importantly, I hope that it was intuitive. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.